Hey guys, welcome back. So we've been talking a lot about housing affordability on my channel lately, what you can purchase at different price levels here in the state of California. And there's people out there like Javier Vadana. I don't know if you've seen his, his YouTube channel or not, but he's often giving California a lot of grief. People, you know, moving California, cash buyers coming into the market, driving up prices. And, you know, I want to bring Javier on to have this conversation and, and you know, talk about what's really happening in the housing market. But, but but I don't think he will. I think he's scared of having the conversation of the housing market because he knows that it's it's not California driving up home prices. It's actually. Hey, man, I'm right here. You forgot to unmute yourself. I can hear the whole thing. Oh, dude. Sorry, man. I thought um, you were going to be nice and friendly and introduce me. Yeah. I Well, sorry. No. So, hey, dude, <laughs> Javier, welcome to the show, man. I uh, appreciate hi. you being here. Um, so I brought Javier on today because we want to talk about housing affordability. We want to talk about, you know, the people actually leaving California, right? We did a video on on Javier's channel where we talked about what you could buy in, in Phoenix um, and why a lot of people are likely leaving the state of California and moving to areas like Phoenix because of what you can get. So we thought it would be fun to talk about you know what you can get here in the state of California. So we're going to ask Javier some questions and we're actually going to bring up the MLS here locally and you know we're going to ask Javier what he's looking for in a property and we're going to run a search, a live search, bring it up here on the screen to get a real reaction. He has no idea what, you know, the affordability factor is. This is not something we did because we wanted to get a real reaction from him. To, so he can see, so he can actually see why people are leaving California. I think, you know, it's easy to get frustrated because of all of these people leaving and driving up prices. But once you realize what you get in California versus what you get in the Phoenix market, it's kind of easy to understand why people are leaving. So Javier, welcome. Anything you want to want to start with there before we dive into it? I um. So when I did this, I, I reacted to some California stuff prior, like maybe a month ago, and I was looking for houses with AC. So my my biggest thing I was shocked about is there is no ACs out there. That's like crazy, right? You know, it is. Um. So here's the thing: in, in California, in Orange County, for example, um, you know, if back in the '60s, a lot of houses were built in the '60s, and if they were close to the beach, close five, ten miles. The idea was that you had this breeze coming off the ocean and that you didn't actually need air conditioning. And there's still people today that believe that, but those people are nuts because there's actually three or four months a year where you have to have air conditioning. Otherwise, it's miserable out there. But we'll look, right? I mean, a lot of properties that we look at might not have air conditioning. So we'll leave it out of the search and actually see if it, if it does or does not have it based on uh, what we're looking at. Is that why you're in your Speedo when we started the call before the video? You are just well, hanging around I, in your Speedo? Yeah, so I, I typically tan in between videos, um, and you know, it's just just something I like to sit here at my desk with a with a thong on. <laughs> All right, All right. <laughs> MLS is on the screen now. We're both saying. Uh, what you're saying. Yeah, so let's let's talk about it. What if you were moving from from Phoenix to here? Um, you can take your current property and say, hey, let's plug those uh, numbers in to see what that would get me, or you could say, hey, listen, you know, I, maybe I'm willing to to sacrifice a little bit. Um, because I know things are a little bit more expensive and take this, but let's, let's go whatever direction you want and, and see what's available. Sure. So, um, we're actually looking to buy a house as well soon out uh, here. Um, we are a sucker for the older neighborhoods. We like a brick built house. I don't know if that's still possible, but if we can find something that wasn't created in the last 20 years, that'd be ideal. Uh, we do like land, preferably over a quarter acre. Uh, oh, wow. see, let's see if you know what an acre, how many lots square feet are in an acre. Well, it's like 43,000 or something. Is that right? I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, either. I just knew it was 40 yeah. something. Um, <laughs> well, I had this idea to do like a, like a trivia show for like YouTube realtors and just ask them questions like that. And then like, if they don't get it right, they'll get a, like eat a habanero pepper or something. But I don't know. Dude, that would be hilarious. Is, sorry. I don't want to deter <laughs> you from the video. So yeah. Um, so definitely need over uh, probably four, four room bedrooms in the den or five bedrooms total. Um, Preferably, hopefully over 2,500 square feet. Um, we would like a pool. And um, I think, I mean, I think so, that's pretty much it. Um, once again, the older part is the definitely, I like a house with character. You know all right. I mean? So you Just want like, a house like with character. So, character. All right. So pool. So we'll say talk private. Bad about you when you're not there. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, no idea. Um, all right. So we got, let's see, we got four bedrooms plus we got 2,500 square feet plus we said 10,000 plus square foot on the lot. That's fine. Um, I yeah. didn't do exactly a quarter acre. 
Um, and we did uh, a pool. You do care if it's one level or two levels? No. Okay, so we'll go one level. Uh, or actually, we'll, we'll just take that out. Sorry, we won't do either. And so we're going to search active properties, and we're going to go Orange County. So there's 228 in Orange County. So let's um, – and we're going to go single family home, and we'll go detached. Just uh, – so detached. So there's 228 in all of Orange County. So let's get a little bit more specific here and say, um, well, let's. let's I mean, the price range. I mean, I don't. Oh yeah, we I'm getting put a price in. maybe Sorry, under maybe under 700 thousand if I'm looking to buy a house for that price range here in the word specific area where I'm trying to buy in. Yikes! Is that doable right. over there? Uh, zero <laughs> matches. <laughs> we got, we Why got are you zero... laughing, Jeff? It's a serious question. Uh, there's zero matches. So let's actually go the other direction. Let's take the price out and just see okay. what the, the, the lowest price home that comes up. Yeah, which maybe so, eight, maybe 850 if, if I really have to push it, Jim. All right. So 1.1 million is the is the least expensive property in the entire MLS at this rate. <laughs> wow. And it, 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 the, the biggest thing that's hurting us, I think, is the lot square footage. If we took the lot square footage out, we'd have more opportunities. But we'll 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 take a look here. So this property is uh, three thousand sixty eight square feet, built in seventy eight on a seventeen thousand square foot lot. Um, it's in Yorba Linda, which is an area known for 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 larger homes. It's actually quite a nice area. Um, but let's take a look here and, and pull up some pictures here. I'm going to go this direction. Why does California's MLS look like a website built in the 90s? <laughs> because you guys it would was. have like the most efficient MLS out there. You guys are like running on AOL. Oh, bro. It's it's like Boost Mobile over here. Boost uh, Mobile. Hey, <laughs> I use Boost Mobile now. I'm just kidding. Uh, let's let's go. Um, like, let's go. We'll go this direction. How's that? Okay. So. So large 17,000 square foot lot, pretty big house, 3,000 square foot. You get a pool as that you want it. But I like something a little more ready to move in. I know it's old. I want to ask for something older, but I still want – that looks like my, my grandma will live in there, you know? No, understood here. We'll we'll flip through some photos. So it's in pretty, 1. pretty good 1. shape. 1.1, huh? 1.1 million. So but nothing nothing spectacular. Um, so we'll, we'll go here. We'll go back to the search here. All right, so you can go you can go Anaheim. Your next one's at a million one eighty nine. Anaheim is in your Disneyland? Uh, let's see. So again, we got single level. This one is how big do we say? This one is twenty eight hundred ninety three square feet. It's a four bedroom, three bath, twelve thousand square foot lot. It's a three car garage. Um, it does have central air, so you'll be happy there. It's a corner lot. So this one's almost 1.2. Blue, little rock on the front. Three-car garage, which is nice. Ooh, <laughs> she's got dude, some that's charm. Straight of, that's straight out of Mad Men, dude. Oh, my she, gosh. Look at wow, those dolls look there. At <laughs> look at that. What are you trying to do with me, Jeb? Look at these dolls. This is awesome. Are, is, this, is this your house and you're just trying to sell it to me? <laughs> no, but if it was, I would, I, would, I would so market this thing. Look at that. Jim, bro, this thing is straight from 78 yeah i think i'll pass yeah so you want something a little newer so you really didn't want the old charm is what uh, you're saying i mean i want the old charm but you know maybe let's do one 1.5 geez louise and right, let's, go, say that let's go to let's go to one five so this one will get you north tustin so this is uh this one was built in 54 is that enough charm for you yes all right so built in 54 13 thousand uh, 800 square foot lot, 2,700 square feet, four bedroom, two bath. Uh, been on the market four days, so listed at a million five twenty-five. It does have air conditioning. Let's check it out here. So built again at 54. This is going to have some charm, a little craftsman. There you go. This is it. Yeah. So, yeah, nice original hardwood floors. It looks like in the inside, a little shiplap on the wall behind the fireplace. Open kitchen. Looks like quartz countertops, nice island, shaker cabinets. Yep. This yeah, is nice, it. super, super nice property, right? Sold. What kind yeah. of offer do I need to make to get this house right now? Wow, that's a good question. It's been on the market four days. So my guess is based on without running the comps and doing all this up, I would say that you you're at least at the asking price, if not higher, because of because of of how well 
designed it is and and the taste and you know this is obviously got the little california room off the back or i guess this is just an overhang but with the Wait, tv you guys call it california pool. room yeah and you guys call it a uh, arizona room yeah why do you guys call it california room why are you trying to take our room away from us uh that's a good question you know it's pr- it probably came from that uh everyone just somebody, calls it everyone's gonna be in the, the comment the section yeah it's an Texas ohio room. room no it's a arkansas <laughs> so, and you got a know. you got a lap pole so you could do your laps yeah, that, that thing looks pretty like original. Wiener, man. I'm, I'm down might have it. Some, Let's go. Might have some drone. Yeah, there you go. Some drone photography. So you got the hills up here. Um, this one was in Anaheim, right? Did we say Anaheim? No, that was the one before this. Oh yeah, this one was in North Tustin. Move yeah, so a nice neighborhood. What is that box? This box? Yeah. Oh, it, it's your face somehow. Oh, it was up there. There you go. On my side. All right, so you got that. So let's actually go the other direction here. I'm just gonna for for to just to end this. Let's go. Let's see what the max price is. <laughs> Sixty nine million. So this one's in Newport Coast. This one's a seven bedroom, thirteen bath, fifteen thousand five hundred square feet on a twenty almost a twenty seven thousand square foot lot. Been on the market twenty seven days. Um. Yeah, I think this is pretty much going to have everything you want in a property and more. So $70 million will get you this, Javier, in, in Southern California. Ocean views, nice uh, infinity pool. Looks like the, the hotel room at uh, the Venetian or wherever it is you like to stay in Las Vegas. In fact, it has the bar to go along with it. Movie room. So only 11 photos. So essentially, if if you wanted to see that property, you 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 know, and it's in its uh you know, the the full property, you'd have to schedule an appointment at that point. So, so can I can I schedule an appointment to a house like that, or what do you? How would that work? I'm assuming they won't let anyone in on that. Yeah. So you're probably going to need uh, bank statements, um, some some proof of of who you are. Let's see here. Let's engage in on this. Can uh, I just send uh, them my YouTube channel URL? Possibly. You know, you might be able to get in there and uh, do a video for it. But if you, if you promote it, and in fact, that's essentially what we're doing right now. So um, you know, maybe they'll they'll reach out for uh, for to allow me to tour it. Yeah. But yeah. Summer Newport Coast. Come on, yeah, man. So, so Give us some, 70, of that, some of that seventy million, sure. exactly. And and where that is in in Newport Coast here, I mean, actually, that it won't show you that box because it's not shared. But it's you know uh, up on the the top of a hill overlooking the ocean, and um, you know this is what brand new construction built in twenty twenty one. So you get the best of the best. You know, I, I really appreciate your time, but I think I'm gonna have to pass. Um, yeah. I'll continue yeah, so. to stay in Airbnbs in California and go to Disneyland and then leaving right after. So I don't think I want to spend uh, $1.5 million. That's crazy. That's insane, man. It makes no – like that. I'm not even asking for anything absurd either. It's just like you know something that's a little more maybe upper – well, not upscale, but mid to mid or mid upscale here in Phoenix is like luxury over there. No, I mean, it, it is mind boggling. I mean, you know, the one here's what I'll say and, and we'll kind of end it here in just a minute is like I came from North Carolina. Right. And so in North Carolina, I had this perception of of California and hearing, you know, when I not even California, but when I heard the term like million dollar property, I thought like what we just saw, like I, that's what I pictured in my head, like a big property. And so I came to California and when I first stayed here, I actually was was able to stay with some friends of a uh, family and what have you. And their property was like a million dollar property. And when I moved in, I was like, I was shocked. I was like, this is what you get for a million bucks. Like I, it just didn't register. And so over time, 20 years nearly, I've been jaded in the, in, in the market. And just, you know, now when I hear a hundred or $200,000, you know, for a property, it's like, it doesn't even register for me, you know, yeah, back in North asked, Carolina. I asked you in our video, like $400,000, is that enough? You're like, <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, I would, I would buy, like you could. I mean, there's literally nothing on the market here in California, right? So California Association of Realtors recently did, uh, you know, they do their monthly updates or what have you. And they recently made a statement that said the number of properties under $500,000 has dropped significantly, like the sell of them. But it's because there are none, right? You can't find a property under 500000 And so 
no, the reason that they're dropping isn't because people aren't buying them. It's just because there there are no properties. Um, but with that said, what 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 are your thoughts at the moment? Let's let's just get a little quick. Um, you know, what do you what do you see how happening in your housing market? Right when we talked on video on your side, it sounded like maybe inventory had increased a little bit. Of, you know, um, since the last time you looked or really paid attention, close attention to it. What what do you think that means for for housing? Do you think people in California are are not going to buy? houses now because there's more inventory or does it, you know, is there still people looking to purchase in your market that are maybe just sitting on the sidelines? So I thought that there was going to start being a drop pretty soon because there's just an observant amount of people buying here and the prices are going up here at a rapid rate. Um, but what this video put in perspective for me is we're still a long range away from that. Um, the right. fact that I can show you a house of 700,000 in Gilbert that maybe a lot of local locals locals consider very overpriced because that house used to be worth 550 two years ago well to someone like you it's the same it's like super cheap still so right. to me it makes a lot of sense why these people are coming from out of state and are like willing to spend fifty thousand dollars more because compared to what's on their side it's like yeah i'll spend another 50k it's either spend fifty thousand dollars more to guarantee the deal or spend a million dollars more to do that so if you really think about it, that fifty thousand dollars is like pennies compared to what you spend here. So, I mean, with this video really put in perspective that for me that we still have a long way to go and in increase of prices. Um, I don't think our influx of out of state buyers are going to slow down anytime soon, especially looking at these numbers. Um, unless maybe you guys down in California come up with a more affordable way for people to start getting housing there, um, then maybe that'll slow down the influx. But there's a lot of people. I bet you for every one buyer, there's probably a hundred people or even a thousand people that are unable to, that can afford a house, but this not can't go that high. So I don't think it's going to slow down anytime soon. And, and now that you're showing me the, this kind of stuff, it's just crazy, man. No, and, and it it I, I guess for me it even puts things in perspective. It's like okay, when looking at your property, I see okay now I know why people continue to leave in droves. Um, outside of other reasons, right? Affordability is is one of the driving factors, and um, I'm I'm beginning to wonder why anybody moves to California at this point because it's absurd. I mean, I tell clients all the time that you know if you're going to leave the state, if you can afford to keep your property here, do it because once you leave, chances of you coming back and being willing to pay the prices here are very very small. Um, just because it's 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 that shock. You're used to it now. Once you go away, you're going to have that price shock again when you come back. But anyway, it's a conversation for another video. Javier, I, I do appreciate you being here. Um, if you guys, I everybody knows about Javier. You have to at this point, right? I mean, one of the best YouTube channels out there with regards to you know, helping first time home buyers, not just putting out content to get views, but putting out content that's actually helping people, which ultimately is the goal um, or should be the goal for 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 anybody in the real estate space, in my opinion. Um, so if you're looking to buy, you're looking to get educated, you're looking to sell your property, whatever it is, follow him, check out his channel. There's a lot of good information there. He continues to put it out. Um, but, you know, what, any any final parting words for you, Javier, before we, we, we get out of here? Yeah, I don't think uh, that red and that Speedo you were wearing works for you. I would recommend maybe a blue or like a dark green. Dark green. Gosh, I, you know, it just doesn't go. My skin's too pale. <laughs> hey, anyway, uh, thank you guys for being here. We will catch you again soon. Appreciate you taking the time to watch. Appreciate the support. See you again soon. Adios. See you guys. Bye-bye.